The cheapest of the cheapest. Bonita! The town is following us. We're literally celebrities here. He's winning. He's winning. Oh. Wow, he, he has strong legs. Getting out of panicky girl. I think I'm gonna need security. This is the Chabad which spent Shabbos at. Huge airport, Incheon Airport in Seoul. Heading out and going to our final destination of the week, the Shabbos. Oh, I came nice and early to the airport so I could relax a bit. Ended up spending two hours checking in and now we have 30 minutes to take off. So I need to hurry up. Oh gosh, it's got stopped by security as well. 25 minutes to take off, boarding's closing and we have to get to a different terminal now. Been standing here for five minutes and I've trained to get us to the other terminal so it hasn't come. Sorry, I made a mistake. It's actually 14 minutes to take off. I'm just too tired to be bothered. The train finally came. 10 minutes to fly. Let's see if we'll make this. I'm half asleep. Five minutes to take off. We're almost by the gate. Final call. We've just got here in the nick of time. It's a four hour flight now from Seoul to Manila in the Philippines. Flying with Cebu Pacific, which is a budget Philippine airline, which is actually quite advanced. They've got USB sockets. It's quite a nice plane. Can't complain. And I'm gonna get some sleep. Seeing this kind of bus here in the airport makes me excited for what this place is gonna look like. Colorful, bright, exciting, optimistic, young and fun. Good morning from Manila in the Philippines. Over here, they're still celebrating the Yom Tov. They have the trees up. And we're in the middle of January, I'm not sure why it's still up. One of the complications, one of the complications to traveling to five different countries in one week is just getting your head around all the different exchange rates. In one place it's one pound to one and a half thousand, and one place it's one to four, one to one to fifty. You just have to keep working things out and changing your mindset. So far the people in the airport haven't been too friendly. You should never judge a country of what the people are like from the airport. Because in the airport usually people are not the friendliest. So it could be a completely different story once we get into the main town. Wow, that was a quick change in weather from South Korea being minus five. We flew four hours south and it's 30 degrees here. I'm in a coat, I'm dripping in sweat. The Airbnb, we have Shabbos. We can only check in in like five hours. So we got a very cheap hotel just to sleep a few hours. People ask me the whole time how I can afford to travel. Well, I'm staying in budget hotel, the cheapest of the cheapest. So yeah. 5.30 in the morning and just everyone's awake. People are not getting up early, people are up from the night before and this chicken shop, everyone's just eating some late night meal. What's your name? Uh, I'm Janelle. Janelle. And you're from Philippi the Manila? Uh, I'm Mindanao. Nice. Six o'clock in the morning, we can't check in the hotel because they're cleaning the room still. Um, so of course, we go out here, have a lachai, I'm getting to the Shabbos mode, enjoying a beer from the Philippines, Sam Mig, not Sam Miguel, Sam Mig. Definitely not the fanciest hotel I've been in. I think it'll be more than okay for the next four hours. Heading to our Airbnb for showers. Such tropical hot weather here. Wearing completely the wrong clothes. Do you know Grunfeld from Golden Screen? Is it a customer? <laughs> <laughs> Taking a 30 minute taxi and the price for it is 381 pesos, which is equivalent to £5.60. Gornish. saying the government's corrupted? Yeah. Very bad? Very bad. Oh. Just being in Manila for a few hours, it's literally identical to Bali, Indonesia. The people, the smell, the culture, the pricing. 12 floors up, stunning view of Manila, but we're gonna need to climb 12 flights of stairs on Shabbos, but I think it's worth it. We got this Airbnb because it comes with a huge mikvah. We go to Mikva before Shabbos. Hello. Hello. You might call us a third world country, but the atmosphere is so positive. People are so happy. Hello. What's your name? Alejandro Valerius. Right. Nice name. Cool right. name. Cool exciting name. name. Yes. Yeah, Tell me, what do you like so much about Manila in the Philippines? Tell, uh, you like? I, I I love it here. What do you like about it? How about the uh, it's where people is already uh, the people the people are very friendly friendly very happy easy yes, going easy going yes very true that. Quantia. Quantia. Yes. Do you like living in Manila? In Cavite. You, you live here? Cavite. Cavite. Where's that? That is a province of Cavite. And you like it here? Yes. It's a very friendly place. Yes. 
arrived in the market. The atmosphere is just so, so chill. Behind me is a traditional Manila bus. Um, I think it's a bit broken this one, but they are so cool. Behind me is the ambulance. I'm not sure I'd want to be in such an ambulance. I've only been here for a few minutes, but I've completely fallen in love with this place. It's so relaxed, it's so fun, it's so optimistic. These mini taxis here are just so cool. Straight out of a movie. Oh, hello. hello. We love Manila. I love Manila. Uh, Welcome to the Philippines. Thank you, thank you. Good luck, good luck. Bye. What is this? Chicken. Chicken, oh, smells good. I think they haven't had tourists for a while here because they're so excited to see some foreigners. Everyone's literally jumping all over us. Not for our money, just to say hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Boy. This is the equivalent for a Nachman truck in the Philippines. You guys follow football? <laughs> Soccer? Yes, I love Neymar. Neymar! Subscribe! <laughs> they live such a fun life, Sabi. We love Manila! We love Manila! Some interesting laws here in the Philippines. Number one is that if an election goes into a tie, they would flip a coin or pick out of a hat who should win. Playing poker? Yes! <laughs> nice. The culture here is so relaxed, just in the middle of a Friday playing games. Hello, hello. What game are you playing? What's that? This is the, the whole town is following us. We're literally celebrities here. <laughs> Another interesting law is that a widow is not allowed to get remarried for 301 days from when her old husband dies. Like what? Israel, right? from We're from here. Yeah, we, he learns there. there. I'm, I'm a student. Oh, okay. so welcome to Philippines. Thank, thank you, thank you. you. I love the simplicity of this place. The kids over here are playing a game. Who could throw their flip flops further? Simple fun. Doesn't have to be an Xbox, doesn't have to be an iPhone. That's how they can enjoy themselves. Hey, hey. Who's winning? Who's winning? Me. He's winning. Oh. Sorry, are, sorry. You, are, you, are you better than Andrew Tate? Yes. <laughs> Casual on the side of the road, just re spray painting a car. Oh. Hello. Giving out Hanukkah girl. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. I like your gun. Hey. 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 Shout yeah, out, shout, shout out. out. A huge advantage of the Philippines over a lot of Asian countries is that everyone over here speaks English because in first school, secondary school, they are taught English. This is the indoor part of the market. Let's see if we can find anything interesting to buy. If only you could smell on the vlog what I'm smelling. Wow, wild, wild smells. <laughs> hello. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Hi. Thank you, thank you. It's the kind of place where you wouldn't mind to have a blocked nose. I thought Meisha Aram was tight. This is even tighter. Hello, hello, we're going for a ride over here. Rock and roll. <laughs> Having a ride in here. It's a shame we can't have any view. But, uh. Wow, he, he has strong legs to uh, do this. Yeah. Oh, I definitely think we're going to need to bench Goemon after this one. Right. Cars flying from each direction. If only I could do a pizza review here, but unfortunately... Wow, this is the police station over here. Definitely a bit different to uh, England. Come on. Uh, ice cream truck? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, cigarettes are so cheap. It's two pounds, around two and a half dollars a box of cigarettes. Marlboro Gold. Security, the whole mob is uh, following us around. Wow, maybe I'll bring them to Chabad for Shabbos. The coolest basketball pitch right here. Here are the Boy Scouts. Yay! Thank you for keeping the country safe. Thank you. Good Shabbos here from the Philippines. Baruch Hashem this week has worked out amazing. Everything has just been perfect. Great experiences, lots of stories. And yeah, very excited to rest up and relax for the next 25 hours. Good job.
Good luck everyone, Baruch Hashem. We had a beautiful Shabbos here in Manila. And now we're heading out, a bit more touring of Manila City. And then we are heading to the airport. This is the Chabad which we spent Shabbos at. Beautiful Shabbos. And the building actually looks just like 770. This might not be the biggest kosher shop I've seen, but here in the Philippines, definitely a big help that you can buy some kosher stuff. Then quickly order a few eggs, I'm starting to eat, because the next kosher meal we're getting is tomorrow night. The marker here in the Chabad house, before we head out to do a bit more touring. We just hired this car for the next two hours, for a thousand pesos. We're just going through the oldest Chinatown in the world, then we're heading to the market and then just saw an advert for Marlocco cigarettes. I guess it's some cheap knockoff brand of Marlboro. What amazes me is that we live on the same planet, yet we live so differently. It just literally feels like a different world. Must be a very safe country if you could just have Rolex on the side of it like this. This is the main market here in the Philippines in Manila called Divisoria. You come here, check it out, it's pretty wild. Hello, hello. What is this? Sweet corn, nice. We were looking for some souvenirs, but unfortunately this is a local market, so all they sell is food and just items which an average Filipino will buy. Let's hope in the airport we can get some souvenirs. If not, we'll have to order them on Amazon. Uh, hello. Here's a police car, it's quite easy to escape, so yeah. And the taxi's still waiting for us, all included in our 1,000 pesos, which is around 15 pounds for like two and a half hours. Decent price. One of the advantages being on this side of the world is the football, which is happening in England on Shabbos, over here I could watch. Hope you've enjoyed this short vlog from the Philippines, Manila. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel.